Hi, we're Adam State, 43 times national track and field and cross country championships, and you're watching. Thank you, Adam State. That was a fantastic introduction. This last week, I had the opportunity of going down to Alamosa, Colorado, and taking a sneak peek inside the Adam State program to see what it's like to train with them. Lucky for you guys, we got it all on camera, and in the coming weeks, we're going to be releasing a series of videos showing you what it's like to train with Adam State. If you're not familiar with Adam State, it's historically a dominant D2 program. They've got 43 combined national titles in track and cross country and they're the only team to ever pull off a perfect score at the Nationals meet. They've had legendary coaches and Dr. Joe Vigil and now Damon Martin who just have a great history of taking good athletes and making them great. It's a lot of good stuff. You're going to want to check it out. It's the Awkward Video of the Week. Thank you, thank you, yes, yes, thank you. Now, I know that wasn't particularly an awkward video of the week, but it was pretty unique, an indoor 400 hurdles race, so I wanted to feature it. Now, we got a great show for you tonight, guys. Uh, the indoor championships are coming up this weekend. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Yeah, uh, we're going to have a live feed of the indoor championships right here on Runner Space, so be sure to check that out. We're going to be live uh, with running events during non-TV broadcast windows. Hey, speaking of windows, did you hear they're going with a new slogan? Yeah, uh, boldly going where the Mac has been for years. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, anyway, one last reminder before we get going. Be sure to make a vote at runnerspace.com slash Nike East Mobile Tour on your favorite graphic for the Nike Spike Bus Contest. The voting has begun. It's just a Facebook like away. Here's the Runner Space Rundown. The Runner Space Network site of the week this week is runnerspace.com slash lane. This is the official website of one of the nation's top community college track and field teams. That is Lane Community College in the beautiful Lane County in Oregon. Now check out the runnerspace.com slash Nike Hub race time photos of the week. Submit your photo and it could be featured on next week's show. It's the High School Rundown. Ryan Krauser is just unstoppable. Fresh off his number two all-time 74 foot five inch throw last week, he smashed the US record for the 12 pound shot at the Simplot Games this week, throwing 77 feet two and three quarter inches. Unbelievable. Also at the Simplot Games at Idaho State University, C.R. Brewer of California put up a US leading at number eight all-time 42 feet three and a half inches in the triple jump. And Trinity Wilson, another California girl, won her third straight Simplot Games in the 60 meter hurdles, running a US leading personal best 8.2 Kylie Price doubled up winning the long jump in 19 feet 6 inches and the 60 meter dash in a 7.45. Taking second in that race was Hannah Cunliffe, a freshman, running a freshman class record 7.47. National record holder in the weight throw, Shelby Ash won with a meet record 64 feet 9 and 3 quarter inches. At the University of Kentucky High School Invitational, Kendall Williams had quite the weekend. She won the 60 meter hurdles with an 8.61, the high jump with a jump of 5 feet 8 and a half inches, and the long jump with a jump of 19 feet 8 and 3 quarter inches. Sean Sutton of Maryland, already the US leader in the 300. Got the U.S. lead in the 400, winning in a very fast 47.63. And Matt Jablonski of Maryland won the mile and two mile with times of 4.13 and 9.23, respectively. And let's not forget about Kendall Basin of Michigan, who lowered her own national lead in the 400 to a 54.43. Jaquan DeMel of Lakeland, Virginia, ran a U.S. leading 7.35 to win the 55-meter hurdles at the Virginia Eastern Regional in New Jersey at the Group 4 Champs. Joelle Amaral of Randolph High had an amazing double, running a U.S. leading 4.52 in the 1600 and winning the 800 in 2.14. Lastly, at the Arkansas State Meet, Andrew Irwin of Mount Ida put up a U.S. leading 17 feet 4 and a half inches in the pole vault. 
It's the College Pro Rundown. Where else to start but with two national records in the 5,000 at the Aviva Grand Prix in Birmingham. An incredible two-man battle between new training partners, Britain's Mofar and American Galen Rupp. Mofar just came out on top with a 13.10, breaking the British Indoor 5K record by 11 seconds. And Rupp was just one second back with a 13.11. He just got the American record, breaking Bernard Lagat's previous American record by only six hundredths of a second. Also an incredible performance at this meet by Morgan Euseni. She just got under two minutes in the 800 with a personal best 159.97. As if those records weren't good enough to satiate your appetite, we've got a world record from the Frenchman, Teddy Tomgo. At the French National Indoor Championships, he broke his own world record in the triple jump, going 58 feet 9 inches. At the Athletics Ontario Youth Senior Champs, American Jen Sir set a Canadian Open record in the pole vault, with her jump of 15 feet 5 and a half inches, also a U.S. leading mark. At the Kenyan Cross Championships, the world team that's so difficult to make it's not even fair, defending world cross champions Joseph Abuya and Emily Chabet did not make the Kenyan team for worlds. On the men's side, it was Jeffrey Matai who actually actually dominated the race, winning by 44 seconds in the 34-35 for 12K. The women's race, as always, was a battle between Vivian Chariot and Lynette Masai. Masai came out on top with a 26-20 for 8K, three seconds ahead of Chariot, who finished in second with a 26-23. That there should be a good matchup at Worlds. It's the Road Racing Rundown. We've got a new world record, folks. At the Ross al Half Marathon, Kenyan Mary Kateni broke Lorna Kipagat's half marathon record by 35 seconds. She ran a 105.50, setting a number of world bests en route. She earned a modest sum of 25000 for winning the race and another 50,000 for setting the world record. Other fantastic times were run by second place Ethiopian Dere Toon, who ran a 108.52, and Ethiopian Mare Dibaba, who finished in third with a 108.57. The men's race was won by Ethiopian Dariba Murga, who went out aggressively with a 13.37 first 5K and continued on to get a 20 second win with a 59.25. Kenyan Bernard Kipiego took second with a 59.45, and Kenyan Leonard Lingat ran out at the top three with a 59.52. And a couple big races in Japan. At the Yokohama Women's Marathon, Yoshimi Ozaki won in a course record 223.56. And for those of you keeping track, that is the fastest marathon to be run by a woman in February. Also at the Om Hochi 30k road race in Japan, American Jason Lemkul came out on top in front of a strong Japanese contingent. He won by one second in a personal best 132.08. Well, that does it for this week. The rundowns are over, but I've got a little bit of last minute news for you. I didn't mention that Galen Rupp was planning to make an assault on the US 10K record of 26.59 this weekend in New Zealand, but there's been earthquakes, as you probably know, and the track has been damaged. Here's a photo of it. So it looks like this meet is probably in jeopardy. Also, reminder, don't forget, tune in this weekend for the live webcast of the US Indoor Championships. Runner Space Live, signing out.